Hey everybody, it's John with Freshwater Systems. We sell a ton of small quick connect type fittings. In fact, we're probably the largest distributor of these types of fittings in the United States. So after we've sold hundreds of thousands of these fittings, we hear some very common questions about the operation, how they're best used, best way to connect them, take them apart, and thought we'd take a few minutes today and kind of go through some of the highs and low points of Quick Connect fittings. The beauty of Quick Connect fittings is in the simplicity of its design. It really is made up of just three components. The connecting body, an O-ring, and the collet. And when these three are put together, they make a very effective fitting that is watertight, and in some cases, airtight when used in a pneumatic situation. So let's talk about how the tubing fits into the fitting. So the function of these fittings has to do very much with the way that the body is constructed. And on this cutaway, you can see how up near the top, the, the sides taper in together. So what happens is as the tubing has pressure behind it or you're trying to pull it out, it pulls that collet up against the taper. And as that occurs, the little grab teeth that's in this collet bite into the tube and that's what holds it. That keeps it into the fitting and it keeps it from moving out and coming apart. And that's really as cool as a design as you can imagine. It is so simple. Now to take them apart, you just pull the collet down as you pull the tubing out. And what happens is it keeps the collet down from coming together up towards the top of the body. And that way you can pull the tube out. When you push it in, and then I try to pull it out, it holds it on very, very tight. So just pull the collet in and pull the tube out. One of the biggest calls we get or questions we receive from our customers is when they use them, why do they leak? Well, there's a really good reason that they leak and that is they probably didn't put them together properly. So I have a cutaway that shows the relationship of the body, the collet, and the O-ring and the importance of how that interrelates to get the fitting to work properly. So to begin with, I always like to tell people to measure the tubing. Take a ruler and measure the end of the tube and make a little mark right at about three quarters of an inch on the tubing itself. And then when you put it into the fitting, the tubing should go in far enough that that line disappears under the collet. And that's a great way to know that you got the tubing all the way through the collet and all the way through the O-ring. The importance for this is that O-ring is what creates the seal. And if the tubing doesn't get pushed all the way through, well, it's gonna leak. So as the tubing goes into this fitting, when it hits the collet, there's some resistance there. And I think that's where people think they've got the tubing all the way in. And I'll give you another little tip. Besides putting a, a line on the tubing, wet the tubing a little bit because that moisture will help slide it through the O-ring and get it all the way into the base of the fitting. That's number one. Probably the number one reason that we get calls for leaks. Another call that we get frequently about leaks stems from the fact that the tubing didn't get cut properly. And it's important, as you can imagine, that the tubing has to have a nice straight cut. If it's got an angle or any kind of um, oddness to it, it's possible that it's not going to go through the O-ring well, could actually damage the O-ring, which that's gonna create a leak as well. So we recommend that you use a tube type cutter that's designed and built to cut this type of tubing. And the tubing, by the way, that that's these fittings are best used with is LLDPE, or Low Linear Density Polyethylene. 
probably the most widely used tubing in our industry. And you want to make sure that when you cut the tube, you get that nice straight flat cut. Then you won't have a leak as you push through the O-ring. Another thing that happens and causes leaks is when a piece of tubing is used over and over again, well, let's say a fitting gets connected and disconnected frequently. Well, each time you do that, it's possible that that tubing is going to get scratched. And the more it gets scratched and the deeper it gets scratched, then you're not going to get a good seal with the O-ring. And, and keep in mind that the O-ring is what creates the seal. Well, if there's an imperfection or a scratch on the tube that allows water to go under the tube, that's another way that these things leak. Finally, the last thing that is the most common thing that causes leaks is when we put tube together with the fitting and then we try to make a corner or a bend and the tubing, I call it side torque, the tubing is side torquing the fitting. Well, as you can see, the collet is kind of moving to the side and it also stretches the O-ring. Now the O-ring's not making a good seal around the tubing in this posture and it's going to leak. So it's always important that you try to keep the tubing coming out of the fitting as straight as possible. Now they make a variety of configurations to help with that. For example, elbows and swivel type fittings where you screw it in and then the, the fitting can swivel. These make it a lot easier to make corners and bends without really loading up the side torque on a fitting. And if you do those simple things, these fittings work really, really well and they won't leak on you. In fact, in all the years that I've been playing with these and it's coming close to 30, I can honestly tell you that I've never seen one that was defective from the factory. They are just so simple and so effective that when they do leak, chances are something's occurred. Either you didn't get the tubing into the fitting all the way, or there's a scratch or damage to the O-ring. And that's pretty much it. And another key thing is there's a lot of different manufacturers of these types of fittings in the marketplace. And this is pretty much true with every one of them. They work in a very similar fashion, and they're going to be affected by the same things. Tubing cuts, pushing the tubing all the way in, side load, and so forth. So it really doesn't matter who the brand is, the same basic rule of thumb, good practice uh, applies to all. Well, that's all I got on tips for using Quick Connect fittings. If you have any questions or concerns, give us a call or check us out on our website, freshwatersystems.com. And be sure and like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, catch you later.